Hello everyone, this is Cedric May, and I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on how to get started editing the wiki pages for our course. Uh, as you can see on the main page, which is our syllabus, uh, there are several tabs here on the upper right hand corner. The read tab, which is self-explanatory, this is the tab that by default you're able to see when you visit the wiki so that you can see all of the content and interact with it. But there are other tabs here and the only other tab that we're really interested right in right now is the edit tab. So when you click on the edit tab, anyone with a user account for this wiki will be able to see and edit all of the content and markup that is in this wiki. Now, I'm going to go back to the Read tab so that we can take a look at the helpful guide that I, was, uh, that I set up in Section 2 of the syllabus, Get Started Editing the Wiki. When we go down, to there, go down to this section, you'll see that I've rearranged it since the last time we talked. And I wanted to highlight the Editing Wikipedia, a guide to improving content on the online encyclopedia. And when you click on that link, you'll see we'll go to a web page that is the guide and most of the guide is uh, information about what Wikipedia is and some of the best practices for creating content for Wikipedia. It isn't until near the very end of the guide that you begin to see uh, instructions for how to edit the, uh, edit the wiki with the wiki markup language that we're going to be using. Uh, now as an alternative to the website you can also download a PDF version of the guide from the uh, Wikimedia Commons page. And uh, I just like to do the full resolution. Click on that and you'll be able to download the guide. And when we when we download when we open up the guide, we can see that it's a it's really a 20 page guide altogether. There's 20 pages and it really isn't until we get down to page 19 that we see the actual instructions for how to use the wiki markup language to help format all of our text. And there really are only a few markup uh, decisions that you need to make getting started. So this is a really good resource to go to as we begin. And uh, once we get to doing more complex things like building tables and such, uh, we'll talk about that and I'll give you a tutorial on that. But for right now, I want to go straight to the Scratch page, which is down here in this section. And like every other page, the Scratch page defaults to the Read tab. Since we have a user account, we're going to click the Edit tab so that we can see the actual content and the markup that creates that content. What I'm going to do is erase all of that and then I'm going to hit the show preview button to let you see what it looks like. There's nothing there, but we still have our text editing box ready to ready for us so that we can get going editing some text. So let's imagine that for our purposes today uh, you want to practice building a basic page with a little bit of content and a few headers. To start out, let's say that I want to create a page about Jonathan Edwards. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to create our first header about Jonathan Edwards. But when we type his name in and then we hit the preview button, the only thing you're going to see here in the preview pane is the word name Jonathan Edwards. But in order to turn that, that text, that content, into a formatted header, the only thing you have to do is add an equal sign to each side of the text. When we hit the Show Preview button, we'll see that we've created a header, a large header, that also has a horizontal rule or a line underlining it. What I'm going to do then is add some dummy text here. And this would be, say, the introduction to Jonathan Edwards show it in the preview and now we can see the first header and then the content underneath that first header but let's say that you want to have this first header as the introduction telling everyone that this is Jonathan Edwards but you want to have a second smaller header telling you that this is just a basic information section so what we're going to do is is add um, two 
equal signs, and then type in our content basic information, and then add two equal signs on the right side of that information, or the right side of that content. Let's take a look at what it looks like. And now you can see that the content Jonathan Edwards line that is surrounded by an equal sign, one equal sign on each side, that's the big heading. Then the second subheading is basic information, and basic information has two equal signs on either side, creating a smaller heading. We can even create a sub subheading by typing in three, typing in three equal signs, and I'm going to just put in sub sub header and three equal signs, and I'll add a little bit more dummy content. Show it in the preview. And now we can see the original main header, the second, uh, the first subhead, and then the second subhead. And you can keep doing subheaders all the way down. Let's say this time we're going to have a sub sub subheader, which will have four equal signs. and some dummy text. And we'll show the preview. And now you can see that once we have four headers, each one of them slightly smaller than the other, a main header, a subheader, a subheader to the original header, and sub-subeditor, so to speak, uh, header, so to speak. But once we get to the fourth header, the Wikimedia install automatically creates a table of contents. So just keep that in mind. You never have to add a table of contents yourself manually. It'll automatically happen once you reach four headers or four subheaders. Headers. I'm going to erase a couple of these. I'm going to leave basic information, make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to have, add, add headers that actually have titles to them, such as uh, basic information about Jonathan Edwards, and then let's say his education, early education as a subheader, and then some dummy text. And then let's say we want to add a header, a subheader about his conversion experience. And we want these subheaders to all be the same, so I'm adding two equal signs on each side of these. And then one more subheader for uh, his scholarship or his philosophy. I'm going to hit the show preview button and now we can see again because we have the appropriate number of headers, uh, each header has a link that will take you down to the section in question and all of the headers are are numbered appropriately and automatically numbered as well but what if I wanted to do something along the lines of uh, add a, some bullet points to the basic information about Jonathan Ed, Edwards life well the next thing I would do is go down go to the basic information section and on the next line I would just type an asterisk and then add some basic information don't put a space between the asterisk and the uh, the content let's do another one a third and a fourth clean it up a little bit. Now take a look at 
the preview. And now we can see that under the basic information we have some dummy text of, about Jonathan Edwards, but then we also have our bullet points. And in addition to bullet points, or what is called an unordered list, that's what this is, is an unordered list, we can also add numbers, or a numbered list. And that's done by adding a hash marker, and then a uh, adding our content clean that up and then let's just add some more dummy text after the bullet points just to make it look nice and formatted and then show preview. Okay, now we can see that we have, by using the asterisks, we were able to create an unordered list of basic facts about Jonathan Edwards, and then we were able to also use a number, uh, a number, or uh, the number symbol, or the hash symbol, to create a numbered list of items and content about Jonathan Edwards under the basic information uh, section. I'm going to stop there for now, except but notice that this is only a preview. You should use the preview as you're drafting, but remember that this is only a preview. You're not going to save your content until you hit the Save Your Changes button at the bottom of your editing, uh, editing pane. Once you save, you'll have You'll, you'll default back to the read tab again and your scratch page our scratch page about Jonathan Ed Edwards will have all of the formatting that's appropriate to set it up the way that you want it to look. That's it for now and uh, I will give you another introductory lesson on using wiki markup uh, in my next video and uh, happy editing.